Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on 420, April 20th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and disaster alerts from around the world. Looking here at 304 angstroms at our sun, we saw that small little eruption on the southern hemisphere. But also, I was looking at these images, and I caught this scooting across the screen. I'm not sure what that was, but I wanted to share it with you there as it came up. Kind of looks like something was just whizzing by, but from south to north. Some plasma filaments erecting there. That little poof there. No sunspots to talk about. We do have the coronal hole, which is still equatorial and earth facing. We saw a small increase in the solar wind speeds last night. Nothing serious. But we're looking at a pretty active incoming. Solar movement, looking here at a different light. You can see the heliosphere being affected. And that is pretty much it for our sun today. We might have some incoming solar activity there. You can see the heliosphere being affected. Looking here at the real-time solar data. We saw a small increase to 376 kilometers, 377 per second, but definite phi angle change here and spike in density. And it's still riding high. So we're still expecting the rest of this coronal hole wind stream to affect us over the next 24 hours. You're just looking at the last three days for our solar wind and data. You can see the phi angle hasn't acted like that for a while. Same with the North South South Pole. Let's get to earthquakes here. Most recent today, 4.4 in China and as well 4.5 in Tajikistan. Pretty quiet for the last 24 hours overall after that large 6.3 yesterday. And they haven't seen another aftershock since the 4.5. But they did see some earthquakes south of it moving 4.7 there, 4.5, 4.6 south of Taiwan, as well a 5.2 ringing off here today, Vanuatu. Minor rumbles across North American plate up into the Alaska. Earthquake swarm continuing, Idaho, same with Dominican Republic. But wow, it's a pretty quiet North American plate. Nothing to show South America, nothing to show Eurasian plate or Africa. But here we have a 4.8. Yeah, 4.8 there in Iceland. But overall, quiet 24 hours. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Many deep earthquakes we've been watching. And that largest 6.3 in Japan over the last seven days. Deepest earthquake was in Shishijima. And as well, South America last week. But it's very interesting indeed, looking at all those deep earthquakes around the world and everywhere but North America. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center as Early morning thunderstorms and tornado warnings went off across Florida this morning. Uh, Tampa Bay, as well Melbourne, and a confirmation of a tornado on the east side of Orlando. An F0 was confirmed. Quite an event for sure. There were a lot of people glued to the live stream this morning as I did go live. And we also had a couple photos and some video footage sent in. Thank you, 
stand extreme vocals. And just looking at this vi quick video here, those clouds were cruising. It was a fast moving storm. And they definitely needed the rain. Dan was thanking the rain gods for sure. Over here, looking at the Pacific Disaster Center, more extreme weather to talk about here in India and as well across Southeast Asia as all that moisture and rain moves off of the Tibetan Plateau. Not much to talk about for extreme weather, except for pop-up thunder cells across Africa, especially along the eastern seaboard towards Somalia. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes being updated. Sabancaya in Peru, Dukano in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Sangay in Ecuador, Kluchevskoy in Russia, Shevelech in Russia, Popo in Mexico, Kushinaria Bajiba, Kushinaro Bajima. There we go. So, yes, very active western side. Ring of Fire. We're going to be. I'll be uploading the volcanic activity report later today. I just did not have time to do it yesterday. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, overlooking home base. Calgary, Canada. Warm temperatures for a day or so, but then cooler temperatures moving in again later in the week. Low pressure system moving in from the Yukon. Pretty mixed bag of precipitation across the west coast, North America. East side, watch for mixed pre precipitation across Ontario as the Alberta Clipper moves east. And as well, watch for another severe weather outbreak across southeastern United States. In the coming days, kind of the same event happening. Low pressure system scooting in from the Pacific and heading across Mexico's Texas border. Definitely going to be bringing some extreme weather again. Just watching these large, vigorous lows that seem to join forces in the North Pole right now especially on the tip of Greenland. Kind of got a beast from the east and as well a monster in the west. We'll get to that in just a moment. Overlooking the Mediterranean low pressure system hanging around, being squeezed out by high pressure ridge north and south of it. Warmer tem temperatures moving in later in the forecast for parts of Europe, more central Europe and west, but eastern Europe Watch for this large system to scoot out of the Mediterranean straight north into western Russia and over Finland to bring some late season snow. Eastern seaboard, Southeast Asia, as well Korea expecting a snowstorm over the next little while. But just look at these low pressure systems. One, two, three, four, Four very large and organized low pressure systems. And the same thing is happening in the southern hemisphere. We'll get to that in just a moment as well. Let's get to the rest of the forecast here. Heavier rains throughout Panama, Colombia. Not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains. Heavier amounts, coastal regions, Venezuela. Overlooking Argentina, got a low pressure system. Pretty vigorous and wet one moving in later in the week to Chile and Argentina. Watch for an uptick in seismicity through the South Sandwich Islands as these large low pressure systems are affecting them. Overlooking Africa. As I was saying, heavier rains towards eastern side, eastern regions of Africa towards Somalia. No tropical storms to talk about. Hopefully some rain moving into western parts of Thailand and some storms definitely in eastern Pakistan monsoon rains getting ready to move in to Malaysia and Indonesia parts of Vanuatu looking across Australia seasonable dry very dry stay safe
my friends and family in Australia, this could be the driest season ever. Overlooking New Zealand, no major weather to talk about. I believe you're here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. I want to welcome all of my new friends and family to the channel. We are still growing. Thanks so much. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, maybe share with your friends and family from around the world. As we like to stay aware and prepared, but also stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.